Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Ricky and Steph. What up, what up, what up? And today on Movie Social, we're going to be doing a review on one of the highly anticipated series out there, Loki. Yes, I know. It was a little bit of a lag in between uh, shows and movies for Disney Plus and uh, Marvel after uh, that awesome ending on uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'm sorry, Captain America and Winter Soldier. <laughs> but anyway. But then Loki came along. <sighs> it's going to be a nice good six episodes here. Well, I'm sorry, five more now. Mm-hmm. Before we get to Black Widow, and then we're back on the pause here. No Unless they decide to uh, release some, um, uh, what is that, uh, Hawkeye mm-hmm. TV series. So I believe they're almost done uh, She-Hulk, too. So nice, nice, nice. Have to see. Either way, Loki here was great. But before we get into Loki here. If you like what we're doing on this channel with these reviews, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the channel and video with your family and friends. All right, so how did you feel about uh, the events of Loki? It definitely was very interesting. Um, you sure you didn't get a part that uh, made you mad? Because I have a part that made me mad. What part made you mad? Seeing all them Infinity Stones just sitting there and the man talking about using them as paperwork, something like that was pretty funny. That was pretty Y'all dumb. hurting me here. The you fact that... You tell me they went back in time and sacrificed some lives when they could have just got these stones from you guys? Listen, it, it's very interesting. And to me, this kind of ties into the story of the Eternals. To me, this is why I say that. At any time, right, where things mm-hmm. where we thought was going wrong or whatever the case may be, these people could have interjected, but they what they do is they make sure that the the, the, the time the, the flow of time, the events that are supposed to occur, occur correctly. Yeah, but see, here's my thing: who's to say these events are supposed to occur? Exactly, they are the only ones that say that. Exactly. So, so it's just like y'all just sit here and y'all let things happen, but who's to say that what you what was what's supposed to happen is? Yeah. True. True. And it was funny how when Loki brought up about the Avengers being the ones that they need to go after. Exactly. Like, no, no, no. no they were supposed, supposed to, to happen. That. What? <laughs> so, you, you, I mean, you just going to say that? <laughs> so, you telling me that Thanos snapping his finger and racing half his existence, that, that was supposed to happen? I mean, yeah, I guess so. So, my question is, what would have happened if Thor would have went for the head? Would y'all would have grabbed uh, we Thor? We would have had to grab you, <laughs> Thor, and bring his <laughs> back and fix this. <laughs> exactly. Or who knows, they might say, well, that was supposed to happen too. We wouldn't have Loki here now. <laughs> That's my point. Like, it's going to be interesting, though, with that part. And then the fact that this is going to tie in with a lot of the MCU going forward. Like, yeah, uh, the multiverse. Mm-hmm. You're going to have... Which is really, I'm glad that they introduced that whole... They kind of have already. I mean, they started to... But this is the first iteration into mm-hmm. the multiverse. You're going to have Doctor Strange. Uh, who knows with Spider-Man it as definitely. of right now. Because they, they keep dropping rumors, but then keep keep denying it. And then the more rumors popping up. So, mm-hmm. got to wait to see on that. Ah, That's going to be a long wait to December. Then you have these internals that uh look like cowards to me in the trailer. Oh, we sat by and waited and waited until now. Y'all sat by after half of the world just was snapped away. Loki even got choked out. So my question is this. Now, now hear me out. Mm-hmm. At this point in time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say we're at peace, but we don't yeah. have a threat as dangerous as Thanos at this moment. What, decide, what made y'all decide to get off your asses now? I mean, we got to wait to see because remember, we got to see exactly what point in the timeline that happens because right now Loki is taking place right after the events of Endgame mm-hmm. but in a way at the same time it's before the events it's too. before it's but at the between. same time after and during at the same yeah. time yeah, because it's a whole nother mo- it's a, another timeline yeah because if you together. think about it when he took the Tesseract and then vanished this happened right after he vanished 
yeah, technically well, while when the... he vanished that was still on Avengers exactly. the first one yeah. in 2012 so but at the same time during yeah. Endgame yeah <laughs> so it's like yeah I know but then the Eternals is gonna be who knows when because you also have Spider-Man that happened after alright so WandaVision happens immediately after Endgame mm-hmm Falcon and Soldier happens a little after that, and then Spider Man happens after that. Yep. So remember, Spider Man is another thing where possible multiverse and all that. Mm hmm. I didn't mention so, that. So Loki fits in between those in a way, and then what is there terms after or before Spider Man? It's going to be a question. So there might be a threat coming when the internals. We see, because. Uh... We also have another movie before then, too. Oh. But that was supposed to happen. No, 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 they didn't say when in the timeline yet. We got to see. We'll see. You think this guy... No, you, no, you, not Black Widow. Oh, okay. What movie are you talking about? That? <laughs> I was to say Black Widow was like way down. Come on, we, our, our first Asian oh, superhero. Oh, Come okay. On, man. I forgot about that one. The You're real right. Ten Rings here. Not that uh, joke that happened on uh, <laughs> Iron Man. You're right, you're right, you're right. So, yeah, uh, we shall see. We shall see. I and say, I like the fact that they found out that who the, the I like when something shows you who's the villain right away. Yeah, yo. First of all, I gotta say something. The whole DB Cooper thing now with Loki had me rolling. Oh yeah. Loki saying that he was the actual DB Cooper. Oh, because <laughs> you know we still don't know who DB Cooper really was in real life. Mm-hmm. But now Loki saying he lost the back of Thor. Come on, really? That was that was genius. That was that was dope. I like I really enjoyed that. Now, another thing that like I said, with Loki being a villain, well, the hero and the villain technically. Yeah, I mean he's a villain that we like in a way. But he's also the person who's been killing who's been causing the chaos. Yeah, for this group. For this group. Now my question is, I wonder what timeline. Are they gonna like just go into what timeline he came from and mm-hmm. that's gonna be because they call them variants. Yeah. And now I gotta address one thing that's been floating around. I don't think that was Agent Carter that people keep talking about saying that they seen her in there. Come on, she don't fit in this. Now Where, that'll be a stretch. You know so when they had Loki going there for processing and all that before his sentence and all that, there was a female off in the distance in the corner. Hmm. That they were pulling taking away. I, I personally don't think so. I mean it the way Agent Carter ended, it yeah, could have happened, and that's why she we didn't see her down the line. But when they reset you, they de- they delete you. Yeah, I know. The, they've taken away from deletion. Who knows? Because we we don't know what's going on with that. True. I just think there's people pulling that strings here, trying to fit Agent Carter back into this. Possibly, possibly, very much possibly. But. You never know. All I can say is there was a lot that happened, and there's a lot to happen still for Loki. And there's a lot to like so far as well. Definitely, I'm actually liking the uh, what's that? Uh, Owen Wilson. Mm-hmm. His character in this, him and Loki look like he might be a good balanced out group. Agreed. Ah, <sighs> sadly though, it's gonna be too short to me. <laughs> Six hours ain't enough. At least this time, though, we get movies right after this. I think, what, a day after? Which is why I think they moved this day, to yes. Wednesday. But let us know what you guys think about this first episode of Loki in the comments below. And don't forget, Black Widow tickets are now on sale. Till next time.